Assalamu alaikum doctors. Today our topic of discussion is all around the classification of antiarrhythmic drugs. So doctors, in this lecture we are like more focusing on classification of antiarrhythmic drugs with a basic trick so that you can easily recall it. Now let's move toward the antiarrhythmic drugs. Actually, antiarrhythmic drugs are the drug that restore the normal heart rhythm. Basically, it is also called Vaughan William classification. Why it is so called Vaughan William classification? Because Vaughan William was the first scientist who classified it in a more systemically form. So let's move toward the classification of antiarrhythmic drug. So it is being broadly classified into four groups. Or we can say four classes. So, classification of antiarrhythmic drugs classified into four parts or four classes. Class <laughs> drugs, class two antiarrhythmic drugs, class three antiarrhythmic drugs, and class four antiarrhythmic drugs. So, class one antiarrhythmic drug is also called sodium channel blockers or membrane stabilizing agents so class 1 of antiarrhythmic drugs is called sodium channel blockers or membrane stabilizing agents while class 2 are are called beta blockers by class 3 antiarrhythmic drugs are potassium channel blockers potassium channel blockers and at the last class 4 drug is called calcium channel blockers so it is worth repeating the class 1 Antiarrhythmic drugs contain sodium channel blockers or membrane st stabilizing agents. Class 2 is also called beta blockers. Class 3 is also called potassium channel blockers. Class 4 is also called calcium channel blockers. Where each class of antiarrhythmic drugs contain a lot of drugs. So for that we, are, we will go through a lot of mnemonics. Now let's talk about class 1. That is the sodium channel blockers. Remember students, class 1 antiarrhythmic drugs are further classified into three parts. That is... That is class 1A, class 1B, and class 1C. Class 1 antiarrhythmic drug further classified into class 1, class 1B, class 1A, class 1B, and class 1C. Now, class 1A are the drugs that moderately. depress the phase zero depolarizing phase class 1 are the, class 1a are the drug that moderately depress the phase zero depolarizing phase so in this class we are having a drugs for that we are having a mnemonic that is QPD. We are Q stand for the quinidine. Q stand for quinidine. P stand for procainamide. And D stand for disopyramide. So class 1a are the contain quinidine procainamide and disopyramide now let's move toward class 1b these are the drugs that minimally affects on phase 0 depolarizing phase so in this class we are having a drugs for that we are having mnemonic that is ML where M stands for mexalatin L stands for lignocaine and class 1C are the drugs that markedly affect the 
phase zero depolarizing phase. So in this class, we are having a drugs that is PF. So P stands for propafenone. S stands for flacenide. So doctor, this is what repeating the class 1A drugs are further classified into class 1A, class 1B and class 1C. Class 1A are the drugs that moderately depress the phase 0 depolarizing phase. So in this class we are having quinidine, procainamide and disoparamide. And if we talk about class 1B drugs, so class 1B drugs that are the drugs that minimally affects on phase 0 depolarizing phase. So in this class we are having mexalatine and lignocaine. And class 1C contain propafenone and flacinamide and it, and it affects markedly. Their effects are more on phase 0 depolarizing phase. Now this is all about the class 1A antiarrhythmic drugs. Now we will switch toward the class 2 antiarrhythmic drugs. Now as we know that class 2 antiarrhythmic drugs these are beta blockers. We already given lecture on the beta blockers. So for the beta blockers that are basically antiarrhythmic. So for that we are having a trick that is PIMSA. So uh, the PIMSA contain profanolol, ismolol, metoprolol, prolol, sotolol, and AC butalol. So beta blockers contain PIMSA. So in this class we are having profanolol, esmolol, metaprolol and sotolol and acubutanol and etinolol. Now class 1, 3 are the basically potassium channel blockers. So for the potassium channel blockers we are having a trick that is said. So we are S stand for the sotolol a strand for amidoron, D strand for drone, doron. So for the potassium channel blockers we are having sotolol, amidoron and drone doron. Now let's switch toward the calcium channel blockers. So for the calcium channel blockers we are having a trick that is DVD. So in this class we will, we are having dilatism and verapamil. So these are the calcium channel blocker. So it is worth repeating the class 1 drugs are antiarrhythmic that is this is the sodium channel blockers as we discussed earlier and so class 2 contain beta blockers that contain profanolol, esmolol, metaprolol and sotolol, acibutolol. For that we are having a mnemonic that is PEMSA. Let's move toward class, uh, class 3 antiarrhythmic drug that is potassium channel blockers. For that we are having a trick that is said. We are S strand for sotolol, A strand for amidoron, D strand for drone drone now class 4 contain calcium channel blockers it contain dilatism and verapamil so these are all about the antiarrhythmic drugs remember the students remember students that class 1 plus class 3 antiarrhythmic drug it is more predominantly work on atria and ventricular arrhythmia but if you really talk about class 2 and class 4 antiarrhythmic drug it is more work on s node and av node so this this is all about the classification of antiarrhythmic drugs i hope you will like the video if you like the video make sure to subscribe our channel and share it with your friend thank you so much